Bo to the near side. Third and 11. Here he's going across the middle. He's picked off. Nakamura has it. A rookie Nakamura fumbles after the interception. And Kansas City first signal. Yes, it's cheap recovery. He threw into a pretty tight coverage here. Moiaki, three defenders around him, or two. And there comes Nakamura for the interception. But what a hit. Jamal Charles catches him by surprise. Speed brings a little power with it. Starting at their 25-yard line. Yates with the pass to Foster, but he fumbled. Recovered by Cincinnati. Another fumble. Bengals recover again in an adventure. And it may have been Eric Winston who was able to get to the football. The ruling on the field is the pass was caught and then it was fumbled twice. It was ultimately recovered by Houston. And because of the change of possession between their first possession and their last possession, it's a first down. Third down and seven. Steve Young is three of seven converting in this situation today and it's intercepted by Todd Bell. And Bell laterals the ball and, and it's, oh, look at this. oh my goodness. It is Heflin. Vince Heflin has the ball handed to him by Mike Richardson. And he throws in. He's intercepted for the third time. And the ball comes out. Troy Brown reached in there and knocked the ball loose. Can you believe it? New England recovers. San Diego recovered by New England. First down. Now Marty Schottenheimer's hoping. You know, we've seen well, Troy Brown. It, it is a catch and then a fumble. Brian Hoyer subbing for the injured Johnny Manziel. He went out in the first half with a hamstring injury. He'll throw on first down. Throwing long again. Benjamin is there and it's intercepted. Josh Norman leaps high in the air and now he'll return it. Inside Cleveland territory. And he's down inside the 30. The ball is loose again. Do the Browns have it? The Browns got it back. Travis Benjamin, who couldn't come up with a reception, came all the way back and was able to take down Josh Norman, and the ball came loose. Loud at Raven Stadium. Shotgun, Kitna, buying some extra time. Throwing too high and intercepted. Picked off by Ed Reed, the rookie. Reed weaving through traffic. Remains on his feet. Here's Reed across the 20, across the 10. Loses the football into the end zone. Who's got it? Loose football. Reed started showboating a bit with the ball extended. And a pile up. It's going to be a touchback. How about that? Wow. Big rookie mistake by Ed Reed. 16 seconds to play. In with Connor. Throws for the end zone. It is intercepted at the goal line. Fred Lewis intercepted. Lost the football. That is a touchdown. What is it? It's Goldie. Goldie comes. He's trying to keep him in the end zone. Oh, just pops it right out. You play 59 minutes and 53 seconds to get a play like this. Photos of the offensive formations are from the other team. He's looking over. Interception. A big blitz on Jim Kelly. And Chris Slade gets the ball with a room service interception. He almost dropped the tray. Now it's it. Wait a minute. The holding call against the defense, it appears. So the Buffalo offense is coming back out. The play could be negated. The New England player was touched by his own man and hit the ground. Therefore, he's not down by contact. Get up, put the ball down. When Buffalo picked it up, it was still a live ball. First down. So Dale Hamer gives a whole new reading, and it's the Bills' ball and a first down. Look at number 23, Terry Ray, unblocked right in on Kelly, but Eddie, as he always does, he stands and takes the shot. Chris Slade bobbles the ball. Let's watch what happens at the end here. See, he was touched by his own man. He put the ball down. He was touched by his own man, so it was still live. Still tied in the third quarter, the Dolphins missed a shot at snagging the momentum. 
when they fumbled away an interception after a series of laterals. Touchdowns, the tight end from Wake Forest. Then, end of the half, 14-6. Watch this play. David Moore with the pick. Let's go all the way. It's the last play of the half. And then, whoop! And the Packers my book. Whoop! Whoop! And then look at this. He could go all the But number 84, Sterling Sharp, makes the tackle. It's actually Javon Walker Roosevelt Williams. Could have had a touch, but watch R.W. McQuarters. He spots Javon Walker. He's got a chance to make that block. He passes it up, and he asks for the football. Sometimes we just can't figure out what players are think. Bears could have scored at the end of the half, but still they lead it 14-6. to From the 10-yard line, Rodgers surveys and throws to the outside, caught by Devontae Adams, and he loses the ball at the 14-yard line, picked up by the Vikings. Green Bay may have gotten it back. It was extracted by Eric Kendricks. Packers think they have the ball back after the Vikings looked as if they were going to get the recovery and even a potential touchdown. It looked like Sandeo picked it up and then lost it again. Going on the field is a fumble. Randall Cobb took offense. it from him. Second down. I think it was Hendricks knocking it out. And then Randall Cobb is going to come in Sandejo's and save the day. Up, and then Randall Cobb's going to come in and take it from him. See if his knee was down. That could be an argument if you wanted Ruling it. Ruling on the field was a fumble first recovered by the defense. The defense then fumbled, recovered by the offense. First and 10, Green Bay. Blades was real smart. He just stood there and took a beating and didn't even get the penalty out. Bad job of officiating right there. No retaliation. Craig on third and one, Blades, intercepted by Harden. Oh, and Largent, unloaded and got the ball. Holy cow, what a shot. And then Harden gets the interception, but the hit by Largent, holy cow. What's this? We knew Steve Largent was upset before. They think he's a little guy, but boy, does he pack a pop. Oh. So Seattle. Here's Brady. Rolling out, rolling and throwing. It's kicked in the air, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted by Roby. He lost the football back at the 20, but it doesn't matter. It was tipped by Tlaib, and the Denver defense saves it at the end. Quarterback John Forcade of the New Orleans Saints authored one of the wildest plays in pro football history against the Rams in 1987. Up, throwing deep down the near sideline. It's going to be picked off back to the 40, 45, to the 50, to the 45 of the Saints. The ball comes loose. Another Ram has picked it up. This is a lineman. This one's going to be seen on the highlights for a long, long time. 28 looking to lateral it. The ball goes loose and the Saints have it. It's Forcade. He's got it at the 40, 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 10. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Now you have it, now you don't. Aptly describes this play between the Jets and the Browns in 1985. Back to pass looking long. He heaves it down the middle and it's going to be intercepted. And then it's grabbed away by Sony. Runs into the end zone for the touchdown. Don Rogers had the ball. And then it was ripped away. Unbelievable. Thieves of modern times were the 1992 49ers and receiver Mike Sherrard. He's down. He fumbles the ball. He was already down, I believe. But then it's picked up by Sherrard. Touchdown, 49ers. And it's a touchdown. Oh, we've had a couple unbelievable plays in this game. In 1950, it took future Cowboy coach Tom Landry to finally bring some order to a maddening Steelers-Giants affair. As the Giants roll, gathers to in on the Giants 30, heads up field. But what's this? It looks like the Steelers may still be in the game after all. It's the Giants again as Ray Poole comes in to play the old stolen ball trick. Finding himself in trouble, that was to teammate Tom Landry, who scoots all the way for the final score. 
A year later in the 51 championship game, Norm Van... And, and that's something they'll have to address in the future. Right now they're trying to get by, but you have to be able to stop the run in this league. The Third down. Middle of the field, in and out of the hands of Brown. Intercepted. That's James Butler. He's in the end zone. Now, wait a minute. That's a safety because he intercepted it outside of the end zone, took it into the end zone with his own momentum, and it's a safety. Myra straight back to pass. Looking. Now stops, throws, completes it to Kilmer up at the 30-yard line. Kilmer driving for the first down, loses the football. It's picked up by Jim Marshall, who's running the run. That's it, Brian.